Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Jim back with another video for you today. In the dark, looking like a bear man because I'm not shaving anymore, I'm not getting haircuts anymore. We're gonna let this awesome coat of hair grow out as much as we possibly can. Man, I'm pissed. I wanna to talk to you guys today about Grounded, all right? Um, I was so excited for this game. I did a separate video on this game a couple weeks ago, back when the Steam um, Summer Fest was going on. If you recall, it was a week-long event where you could download and try out various games via Steam for free. I think there were like 900 different demos or some ridiculous number. And I ranted and I raved and I oohed and I odd over this game called Grounded. And what I really liked about the concept of the game was that it was taking features of other survival type games, but putting such a cute, graphically aesthetic, pleasing wrap around all of it. Basically, it was, honey, I shrunk the kids, you're in the backyard, and you have to survive and figure out why this happened to you, what the mystery is going to be, and how to uncover it. And it was done through a survival narrative. So you had to eat, you had to drink, you had to sleep at night, you had to go forage for building materials and crafting materials and work your way up these tech ladders to build and to create better things. And it just blew me away at how beautiful the graphics were. Um, walking through these fields with these tall blades of grass over you and fighting over these little tiny droplets of water, uh, fighting ants with spears and navigating through deep dark caves trying to uncover the mysteries of what's going on, potentially fighting against these giant spiders as kind of these like mini raid bosses that had ridiculous amounts of HP. And on top of all of it, it's four player co-op so you can play with your buddies and everybody could suit up and work together and build something greater than any one of you can do on your own. I've done this so many times with my friends. We've done it on Rust, we've done it on Ark, you name it, we've had fun with these survival sandbox games and we just love them and they're so much fun. People can log in and participate and contribute to the kitty, sign out, do menial tasks to kind of work our way up and it was just a lot of fun. So in my head, I'm building up how exciting this game is gonna be. How exciting is Grounded gonna be? And finally, it releases today, today. Um, and I load it up. I turn it on, I get my buddies online, we all play it. We beat the narrative in 19 minutes. 19 minutes. I know it's an early access game. I know what early access means. I understand it's still under development. But you guys have got to be absolutely kidding me that you're going to have this beautiful open world to explore. There are three puzzles to solve. If you go back and watch my previous video talking about this game and ranting and raving and building it up, I mentioned that there was a timer. There was a 30 minute timer on top and once the timer ran out, the demo was over, you lost your progress, you had to start over. I know why, because you're gonna beat this game in that amount of time or less. And the idea of this game is that Obsidian, who I think when they put their minds to it, can make some pretty damn good games. Weaving in this survival aspect with a strong narrative that does a lot of checks and balances on your gear to force you to advance. So when you get to the first puzzle and you're trying to figure out how to turn on this light array, you have to figure out how to craft a weapon because you have to use the blade of grass, which is blocking the laser. 
once you figure out that one of the lasers is kind of skipping and you have to follow the uh, power cable to the cave, you then have to build a torch to see in the cave, a weapon to fight, ro a hammer to break the rocks to navigate through to fix the power supply. It's cool. They're constantly doing things that force you to tech up, but in a fun way. And if you're playing with your friends, all the kids, you select one of four playable characters, they all talk to each other, they all have distinct personalities, they're all fun, and it's just fun to laugh and think about when you were a little kid, this is probably the kind of crap you would say, or this is the kind of crap you would do. Obviously not shrunk in your backyard, but you get my point. These are just kind of things that you would do. So what kills me about all this, this whole thing, is that you start navigating through all this and then you just blow through it and it's done. And this window pops up and it's just like, what? And it pops up and it goes, oh, hey, uh, like, that's it. You beat the game. Um, we'll work on more soon. It's early access. See you later. Bye. I guess I should have known something was wrong when the game was a three gigabyte download. But the fact that Microsoft invested a portion of their game showcase to show off this game and the fact that, you know, it was by Obsidian, this is a Microsoft Xbox exclusive and it's coming to Game Pass, it really builds up this excitement of this feeling of what you're going to get your hands on. And then you get it and it's just like, that's it? And... That's it. Yes, you can go off and you can sandbox this game. You can start building a house. You can tech up and get spider armor and the wolf dagger, uh, the spider wolf dagger and different pieces of gear for your character. But it's going to last you another 30 to 45 minutes at most because you're going to just, there's nothing else to do. And it's just such a letdown that this game has been kind of hyped up and guiltily, I was responsible for that, at least in, in my own little planet. And then you play it, it's like, oh. It just continues to be the underlining tone of what the problem with Game Pass is. It's amazing. It's a billion games. It's all these fun experiences. Find your next favorite game. Get Xbox exclusive games day and date. And you look at some of these games that have come out and they're just kind of one and done. They're just kind of like, yeah. And I don't want to get into a tangent on all these mediocre games, but there's a lot of them out there. And unfortunately, right now, Grounded is just, there's nothing much to it. It's cute. You're going to load it. You're going to look at it. You're going to be oohed and awed by the beautiful visuals. I am. Everybody is. It's amazing. And it's going to be a very popular Twitch streaming game because everyone's like, wait, you get to fight ants and you have to scavenge and collect little blades of grass and fight off ladybugs. And yeah, it's cool. It's really, really cool for about five minutes. And then it's not so cool. And then it's just like, oh boy. So I'm highly disappointed. I expected more of this game. Yes, we will get more story drips and drabs later on, I'm sure. But the fact that this game has been in development as long as I think it has been in development, and yes, you do have a beautiful engine. Yes, you do have a solid foundation for crafting. Great. Unfortunately, after that, the real charm of this game, that narrative single player story that is interwoven into the survival aspect, the thing that makes this game different than every other crafting game that I've ever played. The game, the reason that this game is supposed to draw you back, that you're gonna to wanna to spend time with, is working through that story and exploring and having fun and hearing all the witty dialogue of these characters. When you find out that that one piece is non-existent, it's the ultimate swerve. It really is. And it's gonna leave you Speechless. Thankfully, it didn't leave me speechless. I've been talking for nine minutes and 39 seconds about this. So clearly, I'm not speechless. But you're just going to be like, that's it? And this hype and this promise of everything just is just, it's going to dissolve so quickly. 
I'm disappointed. I, I really am disappointed. I want there to be more. I've already uninstalled it. I'm moving on. And when there's a next big content drop, I'll be back. We'll talk about it. We'll see what's going on if there's something worth checking out. But I think people are going to come to the same conclusion I did. It's cute, but see you later. There are other much deeper, much richer, more rewarding experiences to be had out there. And this is an early, early, early access game that really just should be more of a tech demo at this point. It's just not ready for prime time. So major disappointment for me. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on Grounded. Did you check it out? Did you beat it? Did you beat my time of 19 minutes? Um, you know, maybe, maybe I'm really, really good and it takes weeks for you to do it. I don't think so. But if it does, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.